Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the Farm Vlog today. This will be another video on raising chickens in conjunction with Meyer Hatchery. We're going to show you guys how we raise our broilers here on the farm. So we just completed our PVC mobile coop. We'll take you around the coop, we'll talk to you a little bit about it, a little bit about the size, and we'll take you over and show you the birds and show you some pretty cool products from Meyer Hatchery. And we haven't quite completed the coop yet, so we'll show you finishing up the coop. All right, so come along today. We're gonna to have some fun on the farm vlog, working on the coop, and we'll move our broiler chickens over to a larger coop. We have 50 broiler chickens. They are five weeks old right now, and they are way, way crowded in our six by eight coop. So we're gonna move them over to a 12 by 10. All right, so let's go have some fun. Woo! Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge, Stony Ridge Farm. So first things first guys, we are working together with Meyer Hatchery to show you how to raise birds, to show you how to raise your own food. So I hope you can pound that like button, subscribe to the channel and you'll learn a whole lot. There's a lot more stuff going on on the farm besides these chickens, as you can tell. There's a few other things going on here. But first I wanted to show you the coop design that we have right now and what we've been doing and why we're moving them to a bigger coop. First, let's start by saying that Stony Ridge Farm is a new farm. This is a startup. So we're starting up and we're trying different ways of raising our broilers before we start selling to the public. And I think we found the key. So what we have here is our little mobile coop and we built this guy probably two years ago. It's got skis on the back of it so that I can lift it up and move it around. But it's quite heavy, quite cumbersome. And the birds like to get hung up right there in the back. So we're gonna eliminate this problem with the PVC coop because it has rounded tubing and it'll hit their belly before it hits their feet and it won't suck them up underneath there and get them caught. So inevitably whenever I'm moving this coop I'm having to stop and take the time to lift up the back because their toes get caught in it. We don't want that at all. And this thing is way too heavy for my wife to move. So let's go over here and we'll check out this coop and then we'll take you over to the other one. So this one is approximately five or six feet by eight feet. It is big enough to house 50 birds up until about week number four. And you can see right here we're in our front yard. So our birds are on pasture and our pasture is our front yard. There is no stink. There is no smell. There aren't a ton of flies flying around my face. This is possible to do in the city on a very very small budget and on a very very small piece of land and you can see the little spots right here where we moved the chicken coop we haven't had any rain in about four weeks but eventually all this will explode with growth it'll save you on fertilizer for your yard and your yard will pop plus your neighbors will think you're a crazy person so the birds are in here I've got them I've been feeding them and I'll show you all the feeders and stuff that we're gonna be using but this is yesterday's plot well that's yesterday that's the day before and you can see the progression but what a week and a half ago they were right here all this grass and all this land really heals up well and the birds get some good roughage they get some good grass and it makes that meat that broiler meat just taste great so all the birds are kind of waiting on me right now to give them some food but I'm not gonna give them food until we put them in the new mobile coop. These birds are so motivated by food that I can just feed them, move the whole coop out from around them, and just set the new coop right back on top of them. So let's go over here and we'll check out the mobile coop that is made of PVC. So this is four inch PVC drain pipe, okay? So it's not the expensive high pressure pipe, it's the cheaper drain pipe. If my store would have had two inch, I probably would have built it out of two inch. This probably makes it about eh, 15 pounds heavier building it out of four inch material. I was really struggling with how I was going to get the wire to mount up to it and I'll show you how we did that. And there's one little section kind of right out here on this one where it sags a little bit and that's where we're going to be hanging our feeder so we got a little solution to that and we'll show you. Today basically what we have to do is screw the tin down and we've got to formulate a plan to make a door and we'll come back in another vlog and show you how we made the door for it but we want to get these birds under shelter in a predator proof kind of predator proof coop and that way they won't get eaten by predators they'll be under shelter they'll have plenty of shade and they'll have plenty of airflow underneath there and the amount of food they're eating is about 25 pounds of food per day so that equates to probably 20 pounds of bird poop a day and we need a broader area for these guys to poop so when you build a coop out of four inch material this stuff is super duper stout but it's fairly thin walled okay so we got a little bit of a sag right here where we're going to be hanging our waterer and our feeders and hopefully that's the plan we're going to be hanging at least one waterer maybe two waterers so we're going to put a little one inch support beam basically right in here cool so let's get busy doing that 
So what we just did and failed to record <laughs> was installing this one inch support piece right here. And that'll help to support when we hang our five gallon waterer, okay? So we'll be hanging a five gallon waterer from this little hook right here. And this is basically a hook with a bolt on it about that long running right through the PVC. Now we're gonna take our roofing material and the reason we got the brighter colored galvanized roofing material is because it will reflect the heat a whole lot better than if we got a darker color. I was gonna try and match it to our garage right there and to our other barns on the farm, but I think this will help reflect the heat and make our birds a little bit happier and a little bit cooler. So we're gonna spread out this tin and go ahead and install it. So let me share a little bit of the thought process here and what I'm doing. I have two handles mounted over here and I'll get you a close up of all this stuff here in just a few minutes, but I want my tin to be evenly spaced and I also have to leave room for this bolt right here. And let me get a little close up. We're gonna have to cut the bolt off. And that's the bolt that we use for hanging the feeder and the waterer. So I've got my tin evenly spaced, but I don't want overlap like that. I don't want it to hang over like that. So we've gotta make sure everything's even. The overhang is the same on this corner as it is on this corner. Now this piece of tin right here, it will go in this section and this will be our door. So we'll have to do a little modification to it. We've got to put some hinges somehow, mount up some hinges right here. But for now, we're basically just going to lay the tin in place. So what we've got to do now, we have to come in and we've got to cut this bolt off right here so that it will fit underneath this rib. And we're also going to put a washer in right here so it never ever pulls through. Let me show you how we attached the wire. Now, here is the wire, and we bought a two foot, I think it's a 24 inch wide wire. And we went on and attached it with some self-tapping screws and a nice big fat washer. Now, was the washer necessary? No, not really, but I think the washer will help secure that wire, and it's nice and tight, and it'll last for years for sure. Come on, Ben. This brings me to a point where my old DeWalt 18 volt batteries are not holding charge like they used to. So I found a company called Vannon Batteries. I'm gonna post you a link down below and I think that there is a coupon code also that I can get for you for Vannon Batteries. We're gonna replace this one and put a Vannon battery in and see what it does. This is the old 18 volt DeWalt. It's probably 15 years old. Here's the replacement 18 volt Vannon battery. I had no idea that battery was gonna die. But Van and Batteries contacted me, I don't know, six months ago and sent me a couple batteries to try out. So I'll post a link down below and hopefully there'll be a coupon code down there too so you can get a little discount on the replacement batteries here. Let's get busy. Much, much better. There we go. Nice. So the whole roof install hinges upon that bolt right there, okay? So what we have to do is put the ridge right over top of the bolt. Then we'll take our measuring tape and measure from the edge to the outside edge of the tin, which is two and three quarter inch of overhang. We'll match it up and then we'll match it all up and get to screwing them down. Now we're not building a Taj Mahal here, we're building a chicken coop. Does it have to be absolutely watertight? No, but the better we make it, the better we build it, the longer it'll last and the better off we'll be. We have this tin cut uh, by a specialty shop that's pretty close by here. So it's exact measurements that I ordered. If you can find a place locally that'll do that for you, it'll save you a whole lot of money and it'll save you a whole lot of trouble in working with this tin. Basically, I don't have to cut anything with this tin. I just have to zip the screws in. We should be rocking and rolling.
right, so we've got all our screws in. We're gonna go ahead and move the coop over to the birds and put the birds in. Now here's a part of the video where I ask for your advice. So I've got to fashion a door on this thing. Right now I'm just gonna lay this piece of tin over top but I've got to fashion a door right here where I can open and get in there and feed them and water them. So I've got to figure this one out. Guys, if you have any ideas, I thought about attaching a hinge or putting some kind of sliders on here so I could just slide it all the way out. It doesn't have to sit flush, so I could just put a slider in there and just basically slide this like a drawer open and then feed them and then slide it back. Who knows? Let's drag this thing over. It's not very heavy. Should work out pretty good. You get to watch me struggle dragging it across the driveway. I'm gonna attach a rope just like the other coop. I'm just basically gonna attach a rope to it, two granny knots, and uh, we'll get it moved over there. Cool. Well, it passes the move me test with flying colors. Awesome. I'll show you uh, what my plan is here. I'm basically just gonna sit one edge of it up and put the feeder in there and watch the baby birds go to it. See what happens there. I'm gonna prop it up on a bucket. Try a couple buckets. My dog has an affinity for buckets. <laughs> Likes to chew them up. All right, let's step in some chicken poop. Prop this guy up on a bucket and do a science experiment. Now, my hypothesis is I'll set this up on the bucket and it's really, very light. I'll set it up on the bucket there. And secondary hypothesis is set this one up on the bucket. We'll move the water out of here. Raise this guy up. Set him on the bucket. There we go. And we'll get our feeder. So here's our feeder. This is the Meyer Hatchery 25 pound feeder for portable chicken coops. Super duper awesome. I'll show you. I'll give you a little detail on the waterer too. There we go. Now that worked like a charm. <laughs> all right, all birds accounted for. That's awesome. Ugh, that worked so good. <laughs> Let me show you the waterer setup and then I'll show you the 50 pound feeder. Guys, so this is what you can expect. After about five weeks of your birds, they are, I'm gonna say, somewhere in the neighborhood of four and a half pounds and they're consuming probably 25 pounds of food per day. We'll probably bump it up to about 35 pounds of food per day pretty soon. This is the waterer that uh, Meyer Hatchery provides and it's a really cool waterer. You basically set that little spout down the hill and inside this waterer, I'll show you, you just have to pour a five gallon bucket. So you don't have to tote the waterer, take a chance on damaging it. Basically, you just take this guy and sit him over in there or you can hang him up like we're getting ready to do. So we just take him and hang him up on our hook right here. And the objective of hanging it up is so that it remains level and so that the birds don't poop in it so much. All right, so here's your comparison. Completely covered roof, nice reflective that keeps the heat off the birds. It's a little bit taller than the other one. And this thing is just a rickety shack getting ready to fall apart. So a much, much better situation for our birds. A lot more room. So if you look inside this thing, you just don't have much room as compared to that monster right there. Really, really lightweight. If you guys are interested in building a PVC coop like this, basically just go buy the PVC and brainstorm. I'll walk you around it real quick and show you what we have and you can build it yourself. So what we did from bottom to top, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight foot pieces of PVC pipe. We have at each junction, a T and an elbow. Right there's an elbow, right there are the T's. So we got two, four, six, eight T's, and two, four, six, eight elbows. And then we have a T in the middle right here, and another piece going across. So I'm gonna say, go ahead and get 10 T's, and 10 elbows, and 10 pieces of pipe, and get your two foot roll of wire, some screws and rock it out you can build it yourself you don't need plans that is a 166 inch piece of tin so we have two of those and then we have one 
cut in half. So folks, I hope you learned a little bit about raising chickens today and gave you some good ideas on how to pasture your birds and how to make a cool mobile chicken coop. Please don't forget, pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, go down below to the Meyer Hatchery website. I've got a specialized link if you want to help out the channel. Click that link and go in there and check them out. Got all kinds of cool stuff. Be sure and stay tuned for the next video on the farm vlog and we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. All right? Woo! We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wild